Poštovani gledalci, nastavljamo našu Pirotsku 023, smenjuju se gosti i potrudili smo se ovoga puta da porede, da kažemo, onih standardnih ljudi koje inače dovodimo da negde rekapituliramo godinu za nama, dovodimo interesantne goste. Anđelu i Adriana Dambara smo upoznali u nekoliko prethodnih navrata. Sa njim smo se družili u stvari kroz neke interesantne informativne priloge koji su vezani za IT sektor. Inače, porodica Dambara u Pirotu živi sedam godina, došla iz Južnog Južnoafričke republike. Koliko sam razumela, malo čas u jednom neformalnom razgovoru pred ovo uključenje da ne planiraju da odlaze, bar ne za sada. Hvala što ste došli. Thank you for coming. Love you to be here. Anđela, inače, naše gore listo, stvari njena porodica sa mamine strane, je li tako? Je iz Pirota? Svi, da. Svi, je li tako? Ali smo se dogovarili da pričamo na engleskom. Zato što engleski je prvi jezik u kući, a ja ću se potruditi da što verodostojnije prevedem ono o čemu razgovaramo. The first question for you, Adrian. Yes. I know she has the Serbian roots, roots from Pirot, and that's something that you cannot erase. No, definitely not. Definitely. But what was your first impression when you came to Pirot? Cold. That was, that it was cold. It was cold. Yeah, because we arrived <laughs> in January, so it was very cold. Prvi utisak kada se je došao u Pirot je da je bilo hladno. It was completely understandable. Yeah, no sure. Look, we, when we arrived, it was definitely a shock to the system. But, you know, that we, Angela had set the bar pretty well for me to understand where we're going from South Africa, completely different. And, you know, we just embraced it at the time. So, you know, it was definitely the right decision at the time in our lives. And, uh, yes. yeah. He knew nothing about... Pirot or Serbia yeah. before coming here. You know, usually <laughs> you'd bring someone over for a holiday first to see what it's like. You know, we moved, you were like, we're going straight there and yeah. he was great. Yeah. He Did accepted you everything. It? Not not one no. but not one. But even when I got a lot of comments about, you know, Cape Town to Pirot and I just explained to, to individuals that had those comments that, you know, we did it for our reasons and one of the big things was, you know, that Europe being that ease of access to Europe, which was quite important to us. Um, but yeah, no, no, no regrets whatsoever. Samo kratak predlog, prevod, mada mnogi znaju engleski, danas je engleski drugi jezik svima nama, nije bilo žaljenja. Došao je u Pirot na prvu, kako bi što bi mi rekli onako u žargonu, nije dolazio prethodno, došli su da žive i dobro se snalaze ovde, navikavaju se polako, ali već se navikli na uslove u kojima piroti diše i funkcioniše i ono što sam ono čas saznala jeste da je u stvari negde i epidemija koronavirusa potvrdila da ono čime se spodin Dambar bavi može da se radi iz bilo kog dela sveta, samo je potreban internet. I said that you can do your job wherever you are. Yeah, 100%. In fact, we... You need internet. You know? Yeah, just internet um, and a <laughs> and laptop. That's the prime and, and a laptop, of course. Yes. And I think for me, one of the big things is we've taken that to our advantage and even, you know, my staff and I, I explain to them, you know, if there's an opportunity to be a digital nomad, do it, right? You've got a laptop or we'll try and provide someone if there's an opportunity for you. It, it was one of the best things we did when we traveled and worked at the same time. Because mm -hmm. a lot of lessons you learn at the same time. So, yeah, no, just... Yeah, working remotely, IT sector, obviously there's a big definition of IT, but um, essentially for me, if you're a laptop and you're doing a few things, you can do it. You can definitely do it, if you want to, of course. Da, za ovaj posao je potrebno da bude čovjek i kreativan, da ima dobru opremu, a mesto već, da kažemo, i nije toliko važno. Are you satisfied with the, the conditions you have where you work? Um, uh, am I right, startup center? Yes, or? no, yes. look. The, the guys at the startup center, you know, there's, there's so many names that have been involved in the, in the, yeah. from the start from day one. Um, they've definitely tried to accommodate us and make sure that we're comfortable to give us room to grow. And there's been a lot of demands I've made, of course, um, to make sure, because I've, I've got a big vision, you know, for the future. And they've been fantastic. And, you know, for us, you know, I don't, we've, we, it's gone so far that we, we've been able to actually start talking bigger places. Like, I'm sure you've seen the construction in town and all these things. That's come from a lot of things that we've, we've tried to push uh, and the state has backed us and, and backed us quite nicely. And um, yeah, I can't ask for, I can't, I can't be more grateful. Prezor je veoma zahvalan na svemu što mu pružaju u Startup centru gde u stvari ima svoju firmu, da praktično osluškuju ne samo ono što on ima kao 
da kažemo možda primer, primedbu ili eventu nešto da se unapredi posao, ali u stvari svi tu negde zajedno dišu i funkcionišu i ovaj posao odlično funkcionišu. U stvari još jedno i ovo je potvrda u stvari iz prve ruke da Startup Center ima svoju funkciju i da upravo ono o čemu smo mnogo puta pričali da se ulaže i mnogo noca u IT sektor, tako će biti u narednom periodu, ali o tom potom o tome ćemo kasnije kada bude došao i gradonačelnik. Sada malo nešto da kažemo negde o ličnom životu, mada sam se ja prilično raspitala pred ovo uključenje. How are the kids doing? Do you want to answer that one? Yes, that should mom say. Well, we have a son who is almost four, four in April, and I've got a daughter who's four months. Oh, she's a baby. Um, so she's still a baby, but he he's he's doing great. I think he he we've spoken to him in English only, so he doesn't know Serbian that well. He he hasn't started speaking Serbian quite yet, but um, his English is fantastic. But he is goes he at to home school. or she's go uh, he's going to uh, he's going to a crash crash. Oh, and yeah. um, he's adjusted really well there. They're, they're very welcoming and they, they um, support the fact that he only speaks English and doesn't really understand <laughs> what's going on and he's a bit nervous and they're very supportive of him and we're very grateful for that. Da, i deca su se dobro snalaze, u stvari devojčice će imati vremena tek da se adaptira, mada je ona piroćanka, je li tako? She was born here. Both of them. Both of them. Da, piroćanci koji pričaju za sada, to jest dečak priča engleski, ali se sredina maksimalno trudi da ga prihvati na svaki mogući način i verujem da će on mnogo bolje srpski savladati od svojih roditelja. Is there something that you're missing here? Missing in pirot? Yes. Um, you know, you came from Cape Town. It's a oh, great yeah. place. The beaches. More. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we have Greece. More. So <laughs> <it's laughs> <really. laughs> no, I think one of, the, one of the big things we do miss is naturally Angela growing up in, in South Africa from a very young age. You know, we've been accustomed to a little bit more traditional food there. So we do miss a bit of the food. Um, but ultimately, you know, the mountains and we've got mountains here too, but we've grown up in that environment. So we do miss a few of those things. But ultimately, you know, the change has been good because we've seen so many more things by being here. Mm. Whereas if uh, realistically, you've if we traveled stayed, a lot. Oh, yes. yeah. I mean, if we yeah. realistically stayed in South Africa, we would not have seen as much as we've seen now. So, so South Africa is too far away to travel. Yeah. It's very expensive. So it's much easier to be in Europe, you're more central. We've tried to visit all as much as Europe as we can, so yeah. it's been really interesting. Kažu da im manje stvari nedostaju neke, da kažemo, i važne stvari, na primjer hrana, domaća hrana na kojoj su odrastali. Anđela je inače, da kažemo, poreklom iz Pirota, poreklom iz Srbije, ali je od ranog uzrasta. Sa dve godine. Sa dve godine, podsjećane, sa dve godine otišla u Južnoafričku, ali kažu da je inače uopšte taj put od Južnoafričke do Evrope izuzetno skup i dalek, tako da je njima mnogo konfornije da žive praktično ovde i da obilazi Evropu i sasvim su zadovoljni. And as I understood, your parents were here a few times. Yeah, no, they love it. They want to move here. So we, once my mom retired... They want to move. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So... I roditelji Adriana Dambara žele da se presela u Srbiju, što je zaista lepo. Yeah, no, they walked around Pirot and they loved it. So, and we took them to other places of Serbia, but, you know, Pirot to them was great. And essentially for us, what we're going to try and do is when my mom decides to retire, we are going to look at, you know, relocating them in some way, shape or form. And it is possible, you know, these things are possible. And there's a lot of articles in the state that, you know, allow this. And yeah, because you just have to apply for residencies. But they're keen, they're keen to come and I'm going to make sure it happens. So they can be closer to me and my sister in the UK. But my other sister in South Africa, she must make a plan and come closer. So she's going to travel more often. I'm sure she must come visit us more, her and her family. So, yeah. Majka, kada bude otišla u penziju, planira da preseljenje ovde da bude porodici bliže. U svakom slučaju, boravak i život u Pirotu im je mnogo konforniji i manji grad u stvari pruža mnogo nekad veće mogućnosti, mada, kažemo, ipak veliki gradovi imaju nešto što možda i nama nedostaje. And I would like to ask for the end of this conversation, you won a prize of national employment service. Yeah. That is... I think that's something good for for the business. This is no, it's it's not massive. maybe for the business, but just for you to move on with more optimism. Can I say that? Um, yeah, no, of course. <laughs> 
essentially for us, it was a bit of a surprise when we, we got the call that saying, you know, you, there was a state fund in 2019 that um, we applied. I think I bought two laptops with it. I can't remember. Uh, and essentially at that point going forward, we, we have hired the most people at that with that fund in the whole of Serbia. And I think for me, it was it was very good that the state recognized that. I think it is very good that it's, you know, it is. How many employees do you have? At the moment, uh, oh, put me on the spot, yeah. It's <laughs> over 20. Yeah, we were from February onwards with the internship program that we started with the German embassy in November, we're definitely going to be over 20. Uh, and I want to grow it further. You know, I've got a lot of uh, counterparts in South Africa that want to do different things. And, mm -hmm. you know, for me, this, this award was definitely something quite, oh, you want to translate that? <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> I'm just showing this. Uh, I'm just looking at, at uh, their signs. Okay. You can you can continue. Yeah. No. The the award was great, and uh, I think for me it's it's is a bit of an incentive to push forward and see what we can do further. Um, but you know, I think just going back to the, the gratefulness I have for state and you know the guys at the Zip Center and my, my my team. My team has been phenomenal. I mean, bunch of fantastic individuals learning, wanting to grow, wanting to take their IT further, uh, and you know, collectively I couldn't have done it with all of them part of the the, the group, so to say. What more can you want? Not at, at this moment, <laughs> things are good. At this moment, things are good, but we can't stay there. We've got to keep pushing. Yeah. Uh, ono što uh, treba napomenuti da je uh, gospodin Dambar zajedno naravno sa svojim ekipom i dobitnik priznanja Nacionalne službe za zapošljavanje. Uh, naravno koristi neke druge subvencije države. Uh, to su, uh, da kažemo, još neke subvencije uh, iz nekih drugih stranih fondova i u stvari na taj način uh, širi svoje poslovanje. U ovom trenutku firma ima nekih 20 zaposlenih, ali što je najbitnije povezuje se dalje sa Južnoafričkom republikom, u stvari sada je nebo granica. Thank you very much for, for, uh, for being guests of tele, uh, yeah. television. Thank you for inviting us. You. Well, you're welcome anytime. Cool. So just invite us. Happy to talk some more when we when we get a chance. So yeah, really appreciate <laughs> it, you. and uh, we we would like to obviously see what we can do. Going and I hope the kids are satisfied. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see when we get home. Da, nadamo se da su klinci zadovoljni oni što su njihovi roditelji ovoga puta rekli. Još jednom ovakve primere u stvari negde treba i da prikazujemo, jer oni ruše one stereotipe tome da iz Srbije, da iz Pirota treba odlaziti, da iz Srbije treba odlaziti. Ovaj par je Prvo primjer da to ne treba da bude tako. Nastavljamo naš novogodišnji program.